afternoon. <laughs> Not my usual intro, but I have noticed that my morning intro seems to annoy a few of you, so I'm thinking of changing my intro. <laughs> so I thought today I would do something different. And actually, it's a shame I did that because this is one of the only times it is actually the morning. It's about quarter to nine in the morning, and today I'm having a fitness type of day. So it's starting off with the gym. I am one of the world's skinniest human beings with the least muscle on their body, therefore I need to start going to the gym more. Um, so a friend of mine called TJ, who also has a Lotus, will be joining me at the gym and hopefully helping me bulk up a bit. I need to take the Lotus down because my mum is going to join us later in the Twizzy and my dad is going to be taking the C-Class. So I have to take the Lotus. But yeah, I'm going to head down to the gym in Monaco. I'm a little bit late. And then after the plan is to return home after that and head to um, play golf with my father before coming back here to edit a few videos and do some work. It should be a pretty decent day. The weather's amazing for January. It's not that cold. And I'm just excited to get this day underway. So let's hop in the car and get going. Used to call me on my cell phone. No. I know when the hotline blink. Not sure if you can see me with the sun, but traffic is shocking at this hour. I am stuck. If any of you know anything about Monaco, all the way up at the Vista Palace going down into Monaco, and it's basically just a full line of traffic. So what should normally be a 10-15 minute drive looks like it might take me about 45 minutes. So this is not good at all. But hey ho, gotta do what you gotta do. People keep looking at me like, who is that crazy man dailying a Lotus Elise? And to be honest, like, it wasn't that bad. Now that my gear shifter thing has warmed up a bit and it's no longer like Arctic temperatures, I can now change gear, which is kind of useful. And the heating is actually not that bad. I thought it would be at first. Um, the AC, the heating seems to be better than the AC. It warmed up fairly quickly and now I've managed to warm my cabin up. Just listening to a bit of music on my way down and yeah I'm just excited about getting to the gym really now. Right I've just arrived at the country club then it is what time is it? 10 to 10 and our original plan was to meet at quarter past nine but I think TJ is also uh, not on time which is good news for me so I'm gonna rush in now I'm probably just gonna film on my phone because like last time I vlogged at the gym it is a bit awkward whipping out your big camera in the gym so switch to the iPhone footage. I'm officially the worst, you're still on my phone, that's why the quality's not good, but I'm the worst at vlogging in the gym. It's now quarter to 12. That's some cool cars here, Ferrari, California. And I'm just heading home, nice Porsche as well. I don't know if you can see it. So, good workout, but yes, I completely forgot to vlog because when you're in the gym, you're not thinking about, oh, I've got to get my camera out and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm now heading home. I'm so late, this is bad. It's a bad situation. I was supposed to be home at 11 and it's quarter to 12 and I haven't even left yet um, to go to golf with dad. So I'm gonna head up there and then go play golf. Need to get out of the house before they washed up. And even dip it. Right. Heading home. And I'm late. At least we got up ahead of us. As you can see, I've gotten changed. I just came to take the dad's like, who's talking to themselves? I've just come to take the camera out of the car. Somehow, I now need to... Uh, uh, the issue of getting out of a Lotus. The struggle is real, people. We are now going to go play golf with my dad. Uh, in Nice, a little drive down, we're going to take the Mercedes to fit the golf clubs in the back. And uh, only a nine-hole course, I think. But I'm not very good at golf, but I'm excited to get back on and try it out again. I'm starting to feel tired because I didn't sleep much last night, but we've arrived at the golf place in Nice. Um, and just a modest little golf club and we're going to do practice a bit on the practice range because I am not very good at golf. And then we're going to do, they have a tiny little course, like a nine hole par three type course. Um, so then we're going to hit that.
So here we go, we're doing our nine hole course. We've got the little booklet where dad writes down by how much I'm beating him. <laughs> and this is the first hole all the way over there. Somehow they expect me to get my ball from here into a tiny little hole over there. Good luck with that. Oopsie, it went in the bunker. So in the end, I'm not in the bunker. I'm just before it. This is going to be tricky. That's very annoying, but four on a path to me, still not bad. Skipping a bit, I know, back to home. Uh, Dad and I ended up playing the full course, and Dad just managed to pull away with one hole more than I did. Uh, but it was really, really good fun, and it was a really good course, actually. They were all par threes, but nine holes, and it was really interesting, for me at least, to be able to play again, because I haven't played in ages, and I really enjoyed it. I did put the camera away after a certain amount of time to just enjoy the game, and we drove back, and I've been editing this video now. It is pitch black, uh, as you can see outside, because it gets black, uh, dark, so early now. That was pretty much the vlog. Uh, no cars in this one, but I thought you might be interested in golf. Um, there'll be more videos coming very soon. Please, as per usual, comment down below anything you want to see. Also, Ari, the intro, if you remember from the beginning of the video, and also any other videos that you would like to see in the near future. Um, so yeah, if you aren't already, please remember to subscribe, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Cheers! Bye! And I found this matte black one. When I started looking into it, I found out there are only three in the country, and this was the only one apparently with these particular matte black forged rims. And me being a total car limited edition nerd, having that sort of individuality and exclusivity to this car made me just want it even more. And then when I went to see it, and I drove it, and I saw a, how good this thing was to drive, and B, also how much attention this gets. Like, this gets a lot of attention around town. When we convoy with this and the Porsche, the RS, like, most people don't even care about the RS behind. They're just looking at this car. Whereas if they knew the value of that bad boy, they would not give a shit about this.